This is Tenro Sirius the Jaeger. Basically, it's your classic vampires versus hunters story. But, this one's set in the 1930s. And at first, it seemed like it wasn't going to be set in one place. But now I kind of feel like they're setting it up to be in Japan. Because, uh, what better setting is there than, uh... At the very least, 1930s, on the cusp of New Empire Imperial Japan, is pretty damn interesting. Actually, I think they were already doing some pretty imperial shit in the 1930s. Nanking and whatnot. Or at least the lead up to Nanking and whatnot. So yeah, pretty interesting. On the screen here, you got a uh, main boy, Yuri. And like upper ranked underling to who has been so far set up as the main guy. But they show you a different guy at the end and you're like, oh, I bet that's the main guy. And his new main guy looks like, once again, like somebody who's like, I'm going to make Dracula. That's what that guy looks like. Gray hair, good looking, crazy eyes, whole deal. Anywho, so the anime starts with uh, drinking some bitches at the ball, which was kind of neat. It was a vampire guy talking to a bunch of exactly the same looking motherfuckers who raised some glasses with cute girls on their arms, cute Chinese girls. And he was like, cheers. And they all dropped their drinks and all the Chinese girls are like, oh shit. And they all start like going towards their necks and the Chinese girls are like, oh shit. And they get fucking drunk because they're the drinks. Cheers. And then the main character, he's got a real good nose and he's like, mm, 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 mm. I smell blood. And he runs in there like an idiot, but it doesn't go wrong because why would it? But the main guy gets away. So they follow him from China to Japan. And then basically the rest of most of the rest of the episode is first it's the police looking for this murderer. But obviously it's a vampire anime, so we know that it's not really a murderer, it's a vampire. I mean, I guess they are murderers. You know what I mean, though? It's like, they're just looking for some dude killing people, and they have their favorite usual suspect. They're like, this seems like his M.O. But we know it's a vampire. And then our boys, the Jaegers, come in under their uh, company guise of V shipping. Then you see main underling uh, bitch... Walking around in the background doing her thing. She eventually kills a cop. And there's a, you cut to a meeting with some military dude, Major Eba. And he's like, oh, I just love undermining the police. Well, you should let me take care of this. And then uh, while main girl on the screen here is running or well, walking away from the cops because they're not even looking for her. They just questioned her about the serial killer that they think they're looking for. She leaves, walks down an alley. Main dude's there. He's like, hey, those cops didn't suspect a thing. Really, really not suspecting a girl. And she's like, you filthy Jaeger. And they start fighting, which is where these pictures are from. Uh, and he cha they have a car chase. And uh, homeboy jumps on top of her car and does that whole thing. Stabs the driver, flips the car. Car blows up immediately. Uh, he ends up getting pinned to the wall, activates his serious power, whatever that is. She she basically, like, his eyes start to glow, and she's like, oh my god, you're serious is And then he starts kicking her ass. Sirius is disciple, Sirius is chosen, Sirius is son. We don't know. He's serious is something. All that really matters is that makes him special. Special enough that from that point on, he chops off one of her arms and one of her legs and throws her off a bridge. Kind of seems like it was an accident because he like really quick. He's like, oh shit. Then she starts floating. I guess that's a power these vampires have really slowly though. It's like not flying. It's 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 floating with style. And then right before uh, homeboy's about to do the kill blow, he gets sniped by what I assume was a vampire because he had gray hair and looked edgy. But yeah, that's the end of the episode. This is in my wheelhouse. I'm going to watch it. It doesn't, besides the setting, it's not outrageously unique. It's your classic vampires versus hunters. And even the setting's not terribly unique. I can't think of another one set there, but they sure do like to set anime in between World War One and World War Two Japan. I like the whole monster integration with society genre, whether it be supernatural style. And I mean the show, not the genre, where it's, there are monsters all throughout society. And sometimes they get out of control and you have, like, people who know what they're doing have to go take care of that. Or if it's, like, Monster Musume, where it's like, oh yeah, uh, monster girls are now sort of citizens and we have to integrate them with society. I'm, I, I like that. So I'm gonna watch this. If you like the whole vampire horror genre, give this a shot. It's not very horror-y, but it's got the horror thing on Mal, so whatever. There was one scene where the main vampire girl kills a cop, 
and she like pops up behind him and she smiles and then her fangs pop out and I was like oh shit that was cool um that's pretty much it see ya